Nigerians food as federal government spends 679 million naira daily on school feeding despite lockdown. Despite its opposition by major stakeholders in the educational sector, the federal government still continues with the school feeding program as schools across the country remain closed because of the coronavirus pandemic in the country. The National Association of Nigeria Students, NANS, National Union of Teachers, NUT, and the Parents Forum are all against the government's intention to feed the children at this period. They argue that the logistics for the program will be difficult since the puppies are not allowed to gather at a particular location because of the pandemic. The government said DSS, EFCC, ICPC and police will monitor the distribution of the food and contractors. Each vendor will also receive uncooked food items that worth 4,200 naira. The total of 679 million naira will be spent daily and 13.5 billion naira monthly on the project in 31 states of the federation. Many Nigerians believe that the program is unrealistic at this period because the federal government does not have the data of the pupils. Some say the program is a, is a charm and an avenue to siphon public funds. Some argue that even though the distribution of the food is possible, it will increase the cost of logistics and stress for the vendors, which is unnecessary. The chairman of NUT, Otumba Adeshino Adedoyin, also speaks against the initiative. He said the majority of the people live far away from their school. Some parents enroll their wards in school close to their workplace while they stay at different communities. Some stay at Ikorodu and enroll their children to a school on the island. How will the food get to them now? He urged the authority to suspend the program for now because it's unrealistic. Many Nigerians want federal government to stop the school feeding and distribute the night and distribute the food and money to parents. Recall that the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Social Inve Intervention, Ajia Sadia Umar Farouk, last week insisted on continuing the homegrown school feeding initiative despite the nationwide closure of schools due to the coronavirus pandemic in the country. She said the program will commence in Lagos, Kano, Ogun and Abuja this week, adding that the vendors will take the food to Poopy's doorsteps with supervision from the police, DSS, ICPC and others. 3.1 million households will benefit from it. So, these people, once they are ready to do anything, because they already planned it, so there's nothing anybody will say. There's nothing anybody's going to talk that they will listen, because they already already planned, mapped out this thing. You know, the other time before there is out uh, is the lockdown in Lagos, Ugu, and Abuja, they said they were going to be paying into people's accounts uh, with a uh, using BVM. You know, initially they rejected it, they refused to do that, but at some point they now said, okay, they're going to do it. So they were just see, you know, pussy footing before they is down the lockdown. And now, I'm not sure whether some people have received money through their BVN. Now that one has already gone uh, gone down the drain. It's now don't enter bush. That's what it means. Now, they are not looking for ways to spend money. You know, I'm always, I've been against this uh, school feeding of a thing, right from the, uh, uh, the, from the time, right from the beginning, since they've started it. Because one, let's even assume, as at then when the children were in school, go and check where these children are learning from the, the vice I mean, the vice the vice where the vice principal the vice, the vice president will come out and say oh we are homegrown whatever they will just you know they have a way of using some kind of english to to bobo people homegrown school feeding this and this and this and that and meanwhile we have all this imagery you can see that the the coming of this uh, covid 19 has exposed a lot of things and meanwhile they, they have not been talking about this uh, imagery so tell me what, where were the Amai juries? What programs do they have for the Amai juries? When we learned that schools were built for them during the last uh, administration, before they came in, what were they doing? What were, what were their plans or what was their plan? And what is their plan again for the Amai juries that have been roaming about? I mean, why these children that they said, oh, because of this school feeding, it has drawn a lot of children to school. The children go there to do what? To just go and eat. And after that, that's all. And at land, there was a time they, 
the school feeding stopped and the children stopped coming to school. The environment is not conducive. Majority of the children will be learning under three. They will put blocks. You know how those areas, how they, how this, how the schools look like. Go and check most of the schools. And also, how many states benefited from this, uh, this school feeding? Even while the students were in school, how many states? Now, that is the tactics they always use. Now, uh, maybe they, they are telling us that thirty-one states will be will benefit from it. Now they want to start with about four or five states, according to what they are saying. Before you know it. The school school will resume. I mean, they must have budgeted for those uh, numbers of children. S before you know, school will resume. When school resumes, that means the rest people or the rest state will not benefit again. And that one will enter bush. Because that was the same thing they told us that we're going to pay through BVN. See, today, we did not hear anything. If you receive 5000 or whatever through your BVN, irrespective of the money they said you were going to pay, let us know uh, in the comment section. Meanwhile, that being said, now, you don't have data. And I heard a lot of people arguing that uh, uh, even in the UK, I, you know, I always listen to people very, uh, almost uh, every time on radio. One day, one presenter was like, oh, why is it that Nigerians are complaining? Nigerians are doing this. Because they said, give the parents the money. No, they said they are not going to be giving them cooked food. They are going to be giving them, they will pack the food. Then by, this, by so doing, they will still give the parents you know, the parents also will benefit from those uh, uh, raw food they are going to give them. Of course, it is the parents that will, that will do that, that will cook for them. If you look at it in, in that way, it's making sense. But the question is, it's just like I said, they are starting with four states. And all things being equal, by next month, the children will resume. They uh, tell me, today is what? Today is already half of the month. Then tell me if they will be able to meet up with all those other states before school resumes. Because with the way things are going, school, they might ask the children to... to resume so what now happens to the remaining money because they've already budgeted that money then what happens to the money and that's why uh nas is saying that this is a fraud it's a way of siphoning and that's what nigerians have been saying and now they will be referring some of the people who comment already they say what do you mean even in the uk hey i say every little thing even in the uk meanwhile they will be re when it comes to that level when they want to get some kind of a thing they want to imitate other countries that are doing uh, predominant, uh, predominantly well they will tell you they are doing this they want to do that but there's a, there's an agenda because somebody will say oh why is it that people are always preempting them why is it that people are, do not trust them you can imagine the level of uh, uh, mistrust to the extent that because you want to do school feeding even in the UK do they do school feeding uh, we, or the, do they have uh, all these uh, security people go and be monitoring nobody does that because the system is already is transparent it's been that's that's what they have been doing. Oh, they say no, they want to school uh, feed the children. That is what they do in the UK. That is what they do in the UK. Even that now that there's lockdown in the UK, that is what they are doing. They still feed the children. Go and ask them whether the structure they have in, in those place in that place, whether they see they have the same in Nigeria. Database we don't have, and that is what we've been crying for. There's no biometric, there's no database, nothing, nothing. And you want to do, you know, at times the way they reason, I don't just, I don't just understand. And these people, they call themselves educated people. You want to do that kind of a thing. You don't have structure. There's no structure in place. And that was why the palliative during the lockdown was ineffective. Now they want to be back on the same thing. Now you want to be going, they would say they want to be going, you know, from, from house to house to go and be sharing it. And the second, since you want to be sharing it, why did you not share the palliative door to door? When uh, the lockdown was in place, you know, when you look at it, oh, they want to give raw food, okay, invariably the parents also will benefit from it. But now you want to be going from house to house. How many people, what, where's the database? By the time they call them again, bring database. What, how did you share this in? What and what, who and who? They will not tell you, the law said they cannot expose. The law said they cannot uh, make the people known. You can imagine the way these people are doing and they are adamant that of course they've started it today because today that today is what they when they are saying they've already started it um at the end of the day you will see that it's going to be you know it's not even going to go around because i could remember even before now even before the lockdown of the school i'm not sure the state they want to start with now whether they benefited for this uh, school feeding at that time so now you're, you're they're spending almost how many billions hey the more you look in this country, the less you see. Those are good plans. But at the same time, there's no structure. 
Some people will get, some people will not get. There's injustice in every sector, in every area, in every sector in this country. In every sector, there's just injustice. Some people just will be living like some people will be living in, in penury, in abject poverty. And they will be priding themselves that they have done so well. Now, if the children resume, if they resume back now, tell me whether they have fortified the school that the children will be resuming, you know, they will be going back to. You know that there's lockdown. If really a, 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 a government that is responsible, that knows what it's doing, do you know that they would have just gone, maybe that money, they would have just used that money to re renovate all the schools in, in the country to make it well, to uh, equip it, to make it well okay. <laughs> they would have done that. Now, they are not even thinking of what the children will be learning, how the children will be learning. Now is an opportunity. If you have such, um, uh, uh, such money, at least go and renovate that school. Pay the uh, 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 teachers very well. Let them, you know, let them improve the, 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 the learning skills of the, of the teachers. No, they will not do it. They just want to do the feeding because they know this is the period. They don't just want anything to go on touch because they know what they are doing. Because it's not even going to go around. Apart from you know, people coming out to debunk or to just uh, try to downplay what they are doing the issue is that it is not go it will not see go round and that is the corruption people are talking about it will still not go round let them go and share it is still not go round so guys let us hear your opinion you know let's hear what you think about this and whether it is it's worth it and honestly 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 this country it is only good so guys leave your comments and let's have your take